Starfall. Hey guys, welcome back to Starfall Sabers. My name is Nick. I've got another saber reveal for you today. This is a saber pair that was inspired of uh, Aja Ventress from the Clone Wars. And uh, this saber pair is going to Sweden, so I'm excited to show these off. All right, so this is the saber pair up close. Uh, again, a client is from Sweden, and he had basically just sent me pictures of Aja Ventress's lightsaber, and um, he wanted something inspired of that. So this was, uh, I drew a, a sketch, and he approved it, and I pretty much replicated that. I have horrible drawing skills. I actually tried to find the sketch that I drew just to show you how horrible my drawing skills are, thankfully. Um, most people say that my lightsabers look pretty cool, so <laughs> that's always a good thing. So I'm really happy with uh, how these turned out. Um, I like the, the curved look. Uh, they're a matched pair. There's, they're pretty much identical. Um, again, I made them all by hand, so there's going to be a, a little inconsistencies. But again, uh, with my sabers, that's just kind of part of the charm. It looks like they've been around a while. Um, <clears throat> So Vaderhead did the installation on both of these. He uh, is primarily doing most of my installations these days. So we have a lot of orders and just uh, partnering up with Vaderhead, he is able to uh, do them uh, relatively quickly and which is good for all of you because your orders will be being fulfilled um, on time. So I'll just give you a close up of uh, the saber here has the little detail on top just to, to give it some um, dimension up, up by the emitter. Uh, you have your blade retention screw here. And you have a Tri-Cree LED on both of these, uh, red, red with white. And the white's the flash on clash. Um, cut this shroud out uh, with a Dremel, sand it all the edges. Um, really like how this reveals the, uh, the rib section underneath. And working our way uh, down, you have uh, real durable rubber grips, um, uh, then alternating with aluminum, which is wrapped over the all steel construction. The curve section coming on down, you have your uh, cover tech knob here. And this is uh, aluminum milled uh, on my lathe. And you have your uh, speaker grate here. And I'll give you a look at this one too. Again, they are a matched pair, but they have little, very small inconsistencies just to uh, distinguish them. Because again, they're not, it's not CNC machined. I do all this by hand. Uh, I also machined um, this button here, both of these buttons. All right, so let's go ahead and get a couple blades in here. Back out the blade retention screw. All of my sabers when you order any electronic package actually comes with the blade. I know a lot of different sabersmiths uh, don't do that, but my philosophy is just to, I want you to be able to use your saber as soon as you get it. So that's one less thing that you have to order elsewhere. Tighten those up. And um, with the Nano Biscotti, that's what the, the sound card is for this. You don't need a kill key because it goes into oops, sleep mode. And to activate it, you just tap the power button. It's the, an Aja uh, Ventress sound font here. And then tap it to turn it on. And these both have White flash on flash. I'll take these out here and I'll show you how to access the back of the speaker, or I'm sorry, the uh, back of the saber where you can access the sound card 
if you ever want to make adjustments or to change the sound fonts. And so I'll show you how to change sound fonts. It, right now, this is the Aja Ventress. Um, each one has one other dark side font. Um, to change sound fonts while the saber's off, you hold the power button down until it beeps at you, and then it'll change fonts. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? So this is the uh, Kylo Ren's font. And then to change it back to the Aja Ventress font, hold it down again so it beeps at you. And then you're back on that one. Now this one has, I believe Sidious is what Vader had put on here, which I really like this font. I want to put it on my own saber. Hold it down. Beeps. Learn to use the dark side of the force. Pretty awesome. I like the way this sounds too, the hum and, and all that. Real dark, real deep swing. All right, I am gonna show you to change sound fonts. If you're gonna do that, just let the saber sit for uh, a couple minutes and then we'll, they'll go into sleep mode. And then uh, it's safe to access the SD card. So with the pummel here, you don't unscrew this. You just back out this set screw with an Allen wrench. And take your time when you do this. You just wanna be careful with, you know, that we're dealing with microelectronics here, so just just be careful. Now, if you notice, there is, you can see it, I uh, kind of countersunk um, inside this pummel here so that this set screw will rest in there. And if you're going to duel with these, it rated for about medium dueling. Um, just make sure, just give this a little ex extra snug. Um, you never want to torque on it with the long side like this. Um, put the long side in and just uh, wrench it with. The, uh, the short end for torque. Otherwise, you could strip this. This is aluminum. Uh, if you are gonna, you know, get your buddies and start doing with this uh, once this is seated, just uh, just check it to make sure it's snug, uh, so this doesn't come flying out when you're dueling. So this uh, drops down here. Th this speaker here is just seated in here. It can come out if uh, so. Don't worry if that pops out. Just make sure it's seated back in when you put it back. Um, you can see your SD card here. You would just click that and grab some pliers, carefully remove it, and you can put it into an adapter uh, into your USB, your computer, and you can download fonts from uh, saberfont.com, and you can change uh, those fonts. So what's nice about the Saber pair is each Saber can have two, so you can have a total of four different fonts uh, for everything. It, again, we did preload this with uh, the Aja Ventress fonts on both, of them uh, just so that because they're matched. So again, uh, just carefully make sure that that lines up, make sure that's seated. And just tighten that down here, not too tight. Um, again, you don't want to strip that. And then again, if you're going to bust these out to start dueling with them, just make sure that this is snug so that that uh, pummel doesn't go flying and just continue to kind of check it. Because again, it's rated for medium dueling, not super hard, heavy dueling. Uh, I will, I can do that. I build them a little differently um, if if the client wants uh, specifically uh, a really hard dueling Sabre. So there you have it for the uh, Aja Ventress Sabre, uh, inspired of Aja Ventress Sabre pair. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, remember to follow uh, us on Instagram. Uh, it's at starfall underscore sabers also give uh, vaderhead a follow uh, on instagram as well he also does uh, amazing leather work uh, he did this leather cuff that i try to wear in all the videos um, as well as full leather armor he does leather wraps on our sabers he's, he's a really talented guy 
So give him a follow uh, on Instagram. It's at Vader.head. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.